Hi guys and welcome to episode 3 of the Langley Lions football adventure from Van Rama North League to the Champions League, hopefully. Um, my name's Danny Lilly and we are going to be going through two games today. We're playing Geasley and we are playing Leamington uh, at Ulm today. So if you don't know anything about Langley Lions, basically it's a football team that have created uh, uh, on Football Manager 2020. Uh, it's regen players as well, except for two players. I've uh, created both my granddads. So my granddad Sammy and my granddad Tommy. My granddad Sammy is in defence and my granddad Tommy is up front. I've made their stats slightly better, but anyway, we're only playing with, we have a big bank balance, uh, well, we have £500,000 as a bank balance, uh, which is pretty big in the Van Rama North. The media predict, predict, predicted, 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 predicted that um, we would finish bottom of the league, 22nd. Um, so anyway, let's go through it, uh, let's get to the game, uh, and let's see how we go. Um, we are eighth at the minute. We're doing eighth in the Van Rama League. We're doing quite well at the minute. Um, I've actually, you know, it was actually better than this. Actually, what I just give me a second, sorry. Let's get some player stats up and stuff. Um, so yeah, basically we are in the Van Rama North League. Uh, we're playing Geasley next, which we're gonna we're gonna watch this game in a minute. Uh, my club info, just to quickly show you, the, the history is slightly different. The, the history should have been absolutely blank, but I actually taken over a team. Um, so yeah, the, the, there's a there's our kits. Um, but like I said, I completely deleted every single player. Try to delete all the history as much as possible, but there's just a little bit on there where it says at the bottom there, um, I've enjoyed having enjoyed success in 2014, um, uh, which we haven't really. But anyway, the media predicted that we would finish bottom, so let's hope that doesn't happen. Um, just to quickly take you through the schedule, so we had an okay pre-season pre -season friendly, uh, two draws, a loss. Uh, at home against Port Vale, pretty good team, and um, we won them. We won our last game against Rochdale under 23s. Uh, we then played two league games. Uh, we played three league games. We played two and drawn them both, nil nil, uh, against Hereford and Alfreton, uh, and then we won away at Southport, which we were very happy with, uh, two one. Uh, that was our first goals in the league. Tommy Lilly and uh, I think it was Will Will Taylor. What I'll do as well is I'll just show you. If you, have, if you haven't seen one of these episodes before, Tommy Lilly and um, and Sammy McCarthy, me both my granddad's their stats. So everyone else's stats are as normal as you would probably see in the Van Rama North League. Uh, for example, Defender Wright, as you can see, um, Jack Jack Parter. Uh, he's, I've actually just bought Jack Parter actually on a well, sorry, I got him on a free. But as you can see, the stats are, are not the best at all. But if you look at Sammy McCarthy. Again, you probably see that you probably say that the stats are not that good for someone like in the Premier League, of course. Um, but as you can see, heading for a defender, heading, determination, aggression, bravery, acceleration, not bad at all, uh, natural fitness. So yeah, them the main attributes to being a, a pretty good defender. I've put them in there. Um, and as you can see, I got Will Taylor on a free. Again, you're probably thinking stats are not that good at all, but they are Vanarama League stats, so Vanarama North League stats. So, And then if you look at Tommy Lilly, who's just scored his, his first goal, um, Tommy Lilly, he's probably about the level of a, uh, I'd probably say like a League 2 player, maybe going into League, well, definitely probably a League 1 player to be fair. Um, uh, finishing 14, acceleration 14, pace 12, you know, very good stats really for a central striker. Um, uh, and that's it really, you know, long throw-ins, marking, passing, not the best, but um, what we've got to do with Tommy Lilly is try and keep, um, try, he's on a contract, but try and keep, um, try and keep him off, or, or try and keep him off, other teams off him basically. So anyway, let's get to the game anyway. Um, I am on the verge of making another transfer signing, so uh, all my other signings have been free. Um, They've been free. Um, what you know? What so my transfer history? So I just have a look at my transfer history very quickly. Um, Will Taylor free? All free transfers. I got uh, Jack Parter uh, for just over two and a half grand uh, from Tunbridge. Um, why? Uh, it just had very good potential. Um, uh, we needed a left defender as well, so I, I just got him in there quite fast. But we are on the verge of getting. Um, a guy called Festus Arthur. Now, obviously, I can't see his full stats yet, but he's a central defender to help Tommy Lilly out. He's a 19-year-old German from Stockport County, if I remember rightly. Yes, Stockport County. Um, but his stats look like they are going to be good. I have, uh, I got them through scouting, so I have scouted a player again as well. Um, oh, did I scout him? I can't remember if I scouted him now. 
Uh, anyway, he, he looked like a good player anyway, and I, I did hear stuff about him at lower league wonder kids. So, yeah, um, yeah, let's see what happens with that. Anyway, let's get to the game. Anyway, I've done all my stats in the background, all my tactics. Um, as you can see here, um, we are playing uh, Geasley. Geasley are currently quite low at the minute, if I remember rightly. Yes, they are actually 20th at the minute, so we're playing Geasley at home. This should theoretically be a a win, really, but we will see. But it looks like they're, they're giving just the favourites to Geasley again. Again, because our stats are just shocking, except for Tommy Lilly and uh, Sammy McCarthy at the back, of course. So, anyway, let's get to the match. Team selection, I've already pre-done this already, but this is the best team selection I can, I can do for now. What I've done in the possession, I've just basically... I didn't actually play out of defence. I didn't want to play out of defence. I'm basically focusing a lot down the left-hand side at the minute because... Um, sorry, sorry, give me a second. Yeah, basically focusing a lot down the left at the side at the minute because Gallagher Allison is a pretty good player. Um, and I'm just kind of trying to focus around there a little bit. But anyway, we will see no major issues. Everyone's in goodish positions, uh, which I'm happy with. Tommy Lilly up front on his own. Uh, we're playing a Tiki Taka. Now, a lot of people don't like Tiki Taka uh, when, when playing lower league levels. It's not it's not that kind of football in lower league uh, in real life. But I've just thought, I just thought you know what, I'm going to give it a go. I'm going to give it a go. I've done all I've done all my tactics. I've done all my in transitions. Um, you know, I'm happy with how, it, how it's going. So, let, listen, let's get to the match. Stop waffling on, Danny. Stop waffling on. Guys, remember, you can follow the uh, the Langley Lions on Twitter at, uh, at Langley Lions FC. Uh, so you can give me some feedback as well. Um, and also, um, you can follow myself as well at FM Work. So it's FMWRX. It's like a short, trendy style of work, shall we say. Uh, so FMWRX, that's, my, that's me on Twitter. So please follow me. I'd be much appreciated. And I'll, I'll certainly follow you guys back. Um, just going to give them a bit of a good team talk. Uh, be quite passionate. Because I want to get a another win under the belt. Uh, we won away, obviously, last time. Um, I'm not going to say I expect to win. I'm just going to say we've got nothing to lose here. You know, they're, the the media's uh, saying that we're they're, we're not favourites. So anyway, let's see. I use this kind of setup because I can see everything uh, on the left hand side. Uh, and what I do as well is I um, slightly faster. Um, I'm going to go on key highlights and yeah just keep it as that really um, it should be okay so Gallagher, Gallagher Allison already wins us a corner We're not even in the first minute yet wins us a corner come on Gallagher that'll do us lad whips a ball in it's not the best view this sometimes actually normally actually I should have gone to the top instead might go to the top instead see if Oops. Sorry, please excuse me a minute. You might not be able to see that properly. Top's a little bit better, there we go. Sergeant to Tommy Lilly. Tommy Lilly's quite far back there, I need to uh, sort him out actually. He must, should be a pop That's a goal already. Can't believe it. Cannot believe it. And I think it's Gallagher Allison as well actually. Is it Gallagher Allison there? Oh, I don't know what it was, right? Oh, sorry, there it is. My apologies. I'm not used to that. Yeah, it was Gallagher Allison. Very happy with that. Very happy. What a great start for the, uh, the Lions. 11 minute in. Gallagher Allison at 7.3 against everyone else's 6.7 at the minute. 6.8 now with uh, with Samalo, Samal, Salomon Akohe. All very young players. These all free, tra all free transfers. Um, not a best, not best about anyone. Stats and Marine again. Oh, unlucky, Sergeant. No, if you remember, but uh, in the preseason friendly against Rochdale, Jack Sergeant scored our first ever goal. So he is a legend. He is absolutely a Langley Lions legend. Um, so we'll certainly try and keep him. Uh, there's a lot of contracts that I still need to get under the belt. A lot of them are on rolling contracts at the minute. Um, but I've actually just been doing a few now, so well, after this game we will uh, we'll see what happens. In the 33, 33rd minute already, so it's a quite fast game this one. Nothing too much, let's look at the stats. So, wow, wow, 37 minutes, 7 shots to 1. I did not expect this at all, to be fair. It looks like a change of approach, so they're going to more attacking. Okay, that's fine. I'm happy with that, let's give them a bit of a... Let me give them a bit of a... Uh, just a little bit of... A bit of concentrate. Dude, they're doing well. Don't need to concentrate really, but if I give them a bit of a G. 
Tommy Lilly to Allison to Sergeant. What a lovely pass that is to Sergeant to Akohe. Akohe back to McKenna. McKenna to Tommy Lilly. Tommy Lilly's playing quite far back there. Oh, it's a great shot. <laughs> wow, that is very unlucky, Sergeant. Unlucky lad. Doing well here. 45th minute, nearly half time already. Quite quick that one. So as you can see, eight shots, half time, eight shots, uh, five on target, which I'm very happy about. Total fouls, keeping them low as well. We're dominating it. We're dominating this game. There's no reason really why I shouldn't be, I shouldn't be winning this game. Let's get to the dressing room. Team talk. I'm staying calm. Staying calm. I'm just going to say I'm very happy with the performance. Keep it up. Should get some good feedback off that. Yeah, look delighted. Of course, they look delighted. Very happy with this. Obviously, Geasley have not started the league very well. So uh, we'll see what happens on that. I think Hereford are going to be a, a, a tough outfit this year. I also think uh, Chester are going to be a good outfit as well this year. But the, them two are still nil-nil at the minute. We're currently lying fourth at the minute. Bradford PA. I've actually played against Bradford PA in real life. Um, I actually played played it a while ago. One of their main strikers was a called uh, big guy up front. Liam Dickinson it was. Uh, great, great player it was. Great player. I played for Trafford at the time in a pre-season friendly, um, but yeah, uh, crazy. Yeah, if you, guys, if you don't know as well, um, I used to be a football, well, used to be a, an ex-so-called footballer, um, semi-pro level, not special. Uh, broke both my legs, unfortunately. Carried on a little bit more, uh, but then football manager just. I played football manager probably before I started playing football. To be honest, it's a our champ manager as it was back in like '94, '95. So, but I'm just going to pause it there a minute. We're on the 72nd minute already, so it's a quite a fast game. Uh, not a lot of action, even though... Because I, I have got it on the key highlights, to be fair. So there's always going to be a, a great shot or a great goal uh, when you see a highlight. Um, I'm just going to make a substitution. Um, very happy at the minute, though. Very happy about this. Probably going to change the view again again in a minute. Yeah, I'm going to probably put it on the left-hand side. Here we go. Free kick of a Kohei. Whips it in. Gets knocked out. Sean Grove. Sagawe, sorry, Sagawe in. Gets whipped out again. Taylor should pass out to wide. Should pass out to wide. Akohe back to Taylor. Great football list. Akohe should whip it in. No, he doesn't. Big long boot up. Defender saw how easy. Taylor. Akohe. Comes back to McKenna. McKenna whips one in. Up front, Tommy Lilly. Tommy Lilly, what a goal that is. What a goal. Is it offside though? I think it might be offside. It is. It's offside. That's unlucky that Tommy Lilly. Great little ball there by, uh, I think it was McKenna on it, over the top, unlucky that Tommy though. 80, 82nd minute, I'm just going to pause it again, I'm going to put a shout out there. I always pause it when I put a shout out there, just because sometimes it does run quite fast. Um, I'm just going to put, um, I'm not going to demand Moise, I'm just going to praise him. Um, they're doing well, they, you know, you can't say anything else, I praise him, boost the morals up, um, and then we'll see what happens. Everyone's playing okay, deserves a goal. A Kohei, a Kohei does a good, must have had a few shots on him. 86 minute, you know, I'd be very happy if we hold this out. I'm going to make a sub substitute again, try and waste a bit of time. Uh, we are going to go with um, I'm going to go with Damian Leonard on the right hand side. Uh, and you know what, we are going to bring a Kohei off, even though he has made an assist. Oh, I'm not even bringing a Kohei off, you know, he's, he's killing it. Look at that, nine from a Kohei, he's killing it. Um, you know what, I'm going to put him in inside centre, Will Taylor, Will Taylor, 6.8, um, 70%, let's just uh, freshen up that midfield a little bit, Akohe, Akohe is killing it, killing it, 9, don't really get a 9 in the, uh, Tommy Lilly, Tommy Lilly looking exhausted, you know what, 3 minutes to go, let's just crack on, eh, should really make, you know, should really make a sub, but you know what, let's, yes, we've got the win, wow. I'm very, very happy with that. Very, very happy with that. Look at that. 15 shots. 8 shots on target. I am very happy with that. Like I said, I've done a lot of tactics in the background uh, to, like I said, accommodate it. Tommy Lilly is going to be one of our best players. He's going to be the, one of the best players in the league. But as you can see there again, 4-4-2. Colin Roach says, I predicted a win for Giza today. Maybe could have seen the line of the Lions snatching a draw, but I certainly did not see the Lions winning this one. Well, you know what? We did that. Anyway, let's get to this player signing um, from Stockport. Akohe drives Langley Lions forward. Look at that for a rating, guys. Look at that for a rating. This is his stats as well. Check his stats out. Not the best, really. Not the best. But listen, they are defensive winger. Great little player. Uh, Sam, Salomon Akohe. Um, and he's a regen, I think. I think he is a regen, actually, if I remember rightly. And again, 
again, for some strange reason, we are fourth in the league at the minute and Football Manager is putting them as favourites where, I don't know, it's a curl. Anyway, let's see where Leamington are. We're going into Leamington, they're, they're 11th at the minute. So they've won two, but they've lost two. So we'll see. See what happens, Leamington, eh? We should be getting our signing coming in. And here we go. Arthur is set to sign for Langley Lions. Very happy with that. I bought him for um, 8,250 8, quid. Bargain. Bargain, this is going to be. Um, absolute bargain. What I've done on the transfer budget, by the way, is I've just... Um, just um, Shorten the transfer budget to give us a bit of more of a wage packet. Um, but look at that wage packet in Van Rama League. It's, you know, like I said, 500k. We're playing with regen players, I know that. Um, so they're the only rules, really. Regen players, um, my two custom players who are not not great, you know, not like that, no messes. Um, and um, a £500,000 transfer budget. They're the only helping hands that I've got to try and get Langley Lions out of the Van Rama League North. Excuse me, Langley Lions sign Arthur. Very, uh, Festus Arthur. Let's check this guy's stats out. Okay, not the best. Uh, not not the best again, but again, we're talking Van Ram and Arthur here, guys. So heading 12, tackling 11, uh, aggression 11, bravery 11, determination 14, possession, uh, positioning 11, teamwork 11, work rate 12. Look at all them yellows on there, guys. That is crazy for a... You know, this guy from Stockport County as well, 19 years old. So what a bargain this guy could be. Uh, anyway, let's uh, he's going to be making his debut without a doubt, I believe. Professional contract coming in there, that's fine. Ericsson turned professional, great, always good. Just going to do a bit of a briefing. Don't really need to that much, but uh, going to more or less keep it the same team. Uh, I think the custom formation will work best today. I feel, yeah, I think it will. Very little reaction, I'm happy with that. Very happy with that. Let's have a look at the advice. Mental the backroom staff um, recommend that one of the... Okay, should play caution mentality. Okay. Uh, we'll see. I think... I, I won't say caution at home. You know what? I'm just going to say balance. I'm going to go with a balanced mentality. Uh, keep it the same. Um, I'm happy with that. Here we go, guys. We're playing Leamington at home. Um, Langlines injury report look at that very happy with that again very happy with that and as you can see guys as well do not do any in-game editing once we've done the editing at the beginning that's it no more in-game editing and what I'll do as well is I'll show you I'll always show you different little things that you might think so well wasn't that like that before no it wasn't I, I don't mess about me uh, me in-game settings uh, once it's done play the game for real very happy with that Langley Lions in the squad Look at that, always always nice to see the kit there. And of course, a Akoi was going to be there. He should be manager of that team of the week, the way he played. Lily to me unveiled. Of course, I'm going to do a bit of a press conference on this guy. Pretty happy. Um, I'm going to stay calm, but I'm going to say I'm pleased uh, to give him the opportunity to present us. Um, what's this? Uh, do you have any thoughts on the Stockport choosing to operate with the direct... Uh, have any thoughts on Stockport choosing to operate with a director of football? Not really my say so to be fair. Uh, far too busy to be sorting out, uh, thinking about that. Are you confident that Harford can produce the matters when it comes in the big games? I certainly hope so. Yeah, I certainly hope so. What impact, if any, will this deal have for the rest of the Langley Lions squad? Um, hopefully not. Whenever new arrivals come into the club, there is potential of unrest. Thoughts, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm always happy to deal with the problems. Matches can be one single moment. I do believe Arthur is someone, you know, I'm not going to be up too much. Jesus Christ. Uh, don't want to comment on that so far. Um, the deal for Arthur is fairly a cheap one, but do you see yourself spending big in the future? I'll spend whenever I consider a necessary deal on deal basis. Uh, I'm afraid to spend... I'll do on deal deal basis. Let's not, uh, let's not scare the fans. Uh, do you agree that with no large transfer fee involved, there is considerably less pressure on Arthur? You know what? I'm just like we've been able to get this deal done. I'm happy with that. You know what? I'm not going to storm out, but uh, no comment on that one. Uh, fast as I've taken my car, the battle is on. Do you think it would be easier to see there? You know what? Let's keep it neutral again. Keep it neutral. Remarkably, this is uh, your seventh sign in the transfer window. Do you have plans for further signings? Don't wish to talk about transfer policy, mate. Let's keep the unrest uh, secretive. How does the signing of Arthur impact the club's short-term objectives? 
Uh, well, his arrival is definitely going to be part of the bigger picture without a doubt. Without a doubt. Uh, what is the relationship between you and Arthur? Um, just don't want to discuss, discuss that. Um, <laughs> not that I'm in a relationship with him, I'm just saying I don't want to discuss that. Uh, uh, available, uh, Arthur is available to have a match against Limiton, so will you be throwing him new vowels straight to the side? You know what? Yeah, they are. I want to see what he plays like. I'm going to throw him right in the deep end. Should, we get, should get a good media reaction from that, and a good fan reaction, hopefully, as well from that. Yeah. Okay, sorry if you didn't if you didn't see that. Just uh, discuss, discussing the club structure, basically saying that uh, I've brought him in to help the team out, which uh, of course they yeah, haven't brought him into. Uh... So anyway, let's get Festus Arthur into this squad, and you know what? I'm gonna put him instead of Clark. Clark is a good player, don't get me wrong, but if you look, he's got good balance, good natural fitness. Look, at his natural fitness 19. It's like a James Milner, uh, but Sagawe Sagawe plays well for me. Um, Probably not as good though, to be fair. What should I do here? But he's got great potential for... You know what, I am going to do it for Clark for now. So what I'm going to do, Jimmy Grace, in for Clark, and then Jimmy Grace, unfortunately, mate, sorry for giving you up, putting your hopes up. Unfortunately, mate, you're going down to the reses for now, because Festus is coming straight in. No messing about. Let's just look at Festus. Uh, uh, so he's a central defender, and his best is to defend, and that's what I brought him in for. Because I want Sammy Lilly to stay there uh, in defensive mid. Let's submit that team. Let's play Leamington. And this will be the final game. Guys, remember, uh, it would be much appreciated if you follow Langley Lions on Twitter. And also myself, uh, FMWRX. That would be much appreciated. Um, and any any advice you want to give to me, that would be much appreciated. Well, so I always take on advice. Um, I'm brains like a sponge. So uh, anyway, keeping calm, saying, come on lads, show, show what we've got going today. No reaction. You know what I do when no reaction? Always hand it over to the assistant just to see if he can do a bit of a kick up the uh, backside. But no. Anyway, they just listen keenly. Let's get this game underway. Could I move that into there? Yes. If it fits. Oh, so let's get rid of action. So I'll bring that in there. Uh, match stats. I'd like to bring that as well instead of, instead of that. They always look at the position instead. Can I bring that in there? Probably not. If I... Sorry guys, let's just pause that a minute because I'm getting... You know, we should encourage the players to try and play short across. Fine by me. Try and bring that in there. Try and fit that into there. Come on guys, be good to me. Yeah, sorry guys, just give me a second, please. No, no, I'll probably speed this on in the edit. Why is that not going in there? Be good. Right. No reason why now that should not go into their football manager. Okay, fair enough. Crack on. Anyway, just did a little tactics there, just tell them to play short. Anyway, we're in here. A Kohei. Whips one in. Well, that is what you call a colour clash. Just quickly, while we're going on this, it looks like a break here from Leamington as well. Just quickly as well, why I'm going to go... So let's just pause that a minute. Let's break the play up. <laughs> Don't work like that, but I'm just saying. It'd be good if it did. Uh, I'm just going to zoom that camera in a bit. Yeah, just a quick one, guys. Is um, If anyone knows... Let's go for a better camera. TV. Camera zoom, camera height. Yeah, if anyone knows how to change colours of kit when um, when you've already saved the game, I'd be much appreciated because what I did, because I took over Curzon and Ashton, whip one in here. When he's getting away, looks just over the bar. Hope you guys can see this, by the way. Um, yeah, so because I took over Curzon and Ashton, um, I thought that I changed the kits in the background, but I didn't. I did, but for some reason it just didn't work. Um, anyway, I did everything else apart from that. What I should have done is, I should have deleted Curzon Ashton completely in that database and then re-enter my team completely brand new, but I didn't. Um, we must close Jack Barsh. Listen. If you're, assist if, you're, if you're happy with assistant manager, Sammy McCarthy gets a yellow card. Okay, that's fine. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to let him know to calm the down. Um, yeah, so basically, when, um, when, sorry, 
Just give me a second there, sorry. Uh, this is just going to calm down a bit. Uh, 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 give me a second. One second. Let's see if I can... Oh, okay, yeah, it's a floor now, that's why. Okay, should be fine. I'll hold my position now. Um, so... I'll tell you, I don't need to run time. I didn't put that in there. So that's a... Oh, no, 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 no. Sorry, guys, one second. I'm just going to do this. Yeah, so when... um, Yeah, I just went... Bloody fast fingers. Whatever. When uh, I've just got to do this, let me just do this. Why is he tackling that? Oh, I'm gonna feel the support. Why is he not letting me do that? Let's just sort that out in a minute. Let's just hope he doesn't. I might leave it to last time and see what happens. Um, what well, I can't remember what's talking about. How do it, boys? How do it? We don't, we just, we just score where we want. Just score. <laughs> just wait for me, guys. Wait for me. It's, who scored then? Yeah, confirm them. Who scored then? Was it Tommy? No. Has it been offside? Who scored that? Is that an on goal? Is that an on goal then? Easy. Let's just pause it, mate. Let everyone know what's going on here. Is it because I've made that small? It's not showing you the goal now. There he is. It. Yeah, it's good. Made it smaller. It's a Kohei. Kohei's good. Good job I kept him on, innit? Oh, the match stats have, not, have gone there now. What the hell is going on here, guys? Graphical nightmare here. It's obvious what I want to do. Move across to the right. Please, if it stays like this, now I'll be up at get across. Right, thank you very much. Yeah, so it's a Kohei who scored, guys. Uh, so sorry about that. Anyway, 29th minute, we're running through this game again here. But yeah, as you can see, um, the kits are the whole, the old uh, Curzon Ashen kit. So I'm not a Tommy Allison. Tommy Lilly. He said that Tommy Lilly was going to be one of the best players in the league. This is why he scored one already, and he scored one again now. So he is going to help us out. Um, but. That's like I said, they're the only changes that I have done. So it's not as if um, it's not as if I'm, I'm putting Lionel Messi into Lango Lions. Anyway, guys, 35th minute. Very happy with this in a minute. Very happy. It's certainly getting a prey there, without a doubt. Let's get the uh, let's get the moral up even more than what it is. Gallagher Allison chases after the long ball. Tommy Lilly again. Oh, wow, that was close. That was close. I'm gonna. Just change it to the side, guys, because. Oops, let's pause it a minute again. My apologies. Uh, I'm gonna. Sorry for messing about here, by the way. Um, I'm just gonna uh, put it to the side instead. To the right hand side. To the right. So there, to the right. Okay, will you let me put that up there? Why? Saw that in a minute. As you can see, a little bit. So, shot seven. Not even half time yet, guys, and we're doing really well here. Really well. Uh, Salomon Okohe playing out of his skin again, this guy. Look at his stats as well, guys. Not not the end of the world, is it? Stephen Murray picked up a knock. Okay. Okohe's picked up a knock as well. Oh, I don't like that. Okay, so Koi's picked up a knock here. 2-0 uh, up at half-time. Look at the stats again, guys. Uh, very, very happy again with my tactics that I've done. Um, just going to... Here, yeah, I'm going to. I'm taking him off. I know. I know what you're, you're going to say. He's 8.2 at the minute, but I am protecting my player. Bradley Perdue on. Um, I'm sure Bradley... Yeah, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put Bradley, uh, will Taylor fit out there? Taylor will fit out there, so I'm going to bring him as much into his natural position as I can. Put Taylor, hang on, Taylor's right in it. Hey, he's in town. Okay, that's fine. So what I'm going to do is Gallagher Allison.
You know what? Let's switch up here. We're 2 0 up. Doing really well. Let's switch it up. Let's switch it up. We are going to. Um, go up, play a bit more narrow. Oh, give over, man. Come on. Into there. I know what you're thinking. What are you doing, Danny? But now we've got another midfielder. Um, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Don't worry. I've got it. I've got it sorted. Don't worry, lads. We're good. Obviously, we've got Sammy Lilly to Sam, Sammy Lilly, Sammy McCarthy to uh, to maybe maybe um, bring off because of that yellow. But we're 50 minutes in, two 0 up. Absolutely dominating possession. Um, absolutely dominating possession. 61% possession. Um, they're coming back slightly, but 55 minutes in, not too scared yet with the tactics that I've done there. I know I'm playing um, Pradu out of position, but he'll still do a job. 61st minute, they've made a substitution. Um, McKenna on the ball there, passes to Tommy, Tommy, Tommy Lilly, and we're in again. Guys, I think so out of position, and we have something to dominate in this game. Wow. So the first two draws at the beginning of the season was a bit of a bit of a warming. Um, warm into the season but we're absolutely killing it at the minute uh, that puts us up to second just behind york at the minute so it's going to be a very very good season this already I, I predict i predict but we'll see we'll see uh you never know with football manager okay i'm very happy with the stats at the minute but it looks like i will be 6.8 um 75th minute you know what let's make that sub let's make that sammy mccarthy sub so i don't want to be um what I'm going to do is I'm going to confirm that. I'm also just going, going to go into tactics because I'm playing two people out of position. I don't want to do that. Um, oh, obviously, it won't let me do that because uh, I need to confirm the tactics. And then what I'll do is I will then go into the tactics and I will free it up, guys. Let's just relax. Let's just relax. Um, be positive now. Um, what more can I say? You know, if it was playing an absolute, if it was nil nil still, I'd be going into more tactics and probably bore you even more. But uh, very happy with this result to now. Very happy. 80th minute. Okay, they've got an attack on. They whipped one in from Bartram. And they hit it over. Doesn't do it for me, boys. Doesn't do it for me. Looks like we're. Uh, looks like we're certainly safe now. 84th minute. Very happy with that. I could easily turn it off now. Well, I couldn't because I've not saved it. But anyway, got a throw in here. Oh, no, it's him. Sorry, it's him. Sorry about the kill, uh, kick clash there. We get the ball back. Purdue. Over to Gallagher Allison. So Sergeant whips the ball into Tommy Lilly. Tommy Lilly, one on one. Easy. It's easy. It's easy. It's easy. Tommy Lilly again. Tommy Lilly. Tell you what, we won't be here by Christmas, this guy, anyway. So we need to uh, need to give him the best he can, best send off. Arthur to McKenna, Taylor. Don't need to make any subs now. Can't anyway. Petra to no, they've got it now. Makeup to Clark to Bartram. Whips one over the top. Great save there by Shapev. Shapev a regen goalie again though. Uh, Good goalkeeper. Uh, only 10 handling, but the other attributes are really good. Rushing off the line, really good. A bit like uh, a Van Ramanoff, uh, Manuel Neuer. Oops. Purdue pushing people in the back. Coming to the final. Whistle's going to go now, guys. But, oh. Did put the bloody uh, sound on, ever? Sorry about that, guys. Listen to my voice and I'll put the sound on. Which one in? Well, they deserve a goal for all the things that they've done, but guys, look at that again. 3-0. The Langer Lions are on a raw here. Eh? Pardon the pun. Uh, but anyway, guys, look at that. Hey, look at that, though. Leamington, 10 shots to our nine. That's probably that back uh, 25 minutes, that, to be fair, because my tactics were a bit all over the place, but we already won anyway, so it was fine on that. Um, I'm surprised with the results, to be honest. I expected a close game with most likely the winners being Leamington. Uh, so far for the Lions to win is really something. You know what? They'll start believing us soon, won't they? But anyway, guys, listen, thank you very much for watching.
Can't wait for episode four. Uh, let's just see. I'm just going to go to the dressing room very quickly. Who we're playing in episode four? Uh, team talk. Good win, boys. Staying calm. Good win. Well done. Absolutely fantastic, boys. So, guys, thank you very much for watching. Let's look at the schedule. Actually, I just want to see how the new signing did as well. Actually, uh, it, was, it was that unnoticeable. I don't. Uh, anyway, look at that. Three 0 guys. Three 0 against Leamington. Anyway, coming up next, I might probably. Oh, York away. I've got to wait for that, Anna. York away. Yeah, I'll film that and York away. York away and Altrincham at home. Then I might then, uh, looking at the table, I might probably um, probably skip the next two or three. So, yeah, I'm looking to maybe get in around about 15 episodes in this season. Um, so that'd be good. Anyway, guys, listen, thank you very much for watching. It'd be much appreciated if you subscribed. If you have watched this far, thank you very much. Amazing. Thanks for supporting the Langland Lions in this uh in this coronavirus time. Uh, I hope you're all safe and well. And guys, thank you very much. Take care. See you soon. Bye.